Hello, ladies. Welcome to Melody Made in our seventh session and final session of Steampunk uh, Junk Journals here with Deb. And we have each created two items. Um, I've got a flip through coming up next week. She's going to be doing a bit of a flip through today. We will share these more in, in different uh, multiple places, medias, things like that, so that you can see them. Um, and definitely in the questions, ask us anything you want to know. Um, give us some uh, of your ideas about what you do with steampunk. So what are you doing there, Deb? Well, I can't find my black thread, so I'm making some black thread. <laughs> <laughs> brown thread. I was going to use brown. I didn't want to use brown. So uh, to put my signatures in with is what I'm talking about. And I have some wax thread, but I didn't think it would look right. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just do this. I've done it before, and all I've done is wrap some crochet thread around this glue stick. Yeah. Container. And I'm using, in this case, I'm using a Posca pen, paint pen, to color it. So it's going to be a little variegated, which I think will look great. So that's not a problem. Yeah, I think that will look great. Hi. And, doing, and then I'm going to put these signatures in. Oh, I'm so excited to see them put in. Um, Deb was telling me that she has a certain process that she usually does. I'm all over the place personally. So I couldn't tell you I do any one thing any one time. But there we go. I melted the wax. I didn't do a great job. I should have put more on there. Oh, got wow. a little pretty butterfly in there. It's a little glasoline bag that um, I was going to put uh, a layered tag in and then glue it to a page. What I, so. I want, since I wasn't looking, how, um, uh, is that just a regular uh, wax stamp or what is that? Oh, here, I'll show you. I'll do it again because I have another one that I wanted to do anyway. So what I did is just so that I go back, uh, the glazoline bag um, is very white. So I spray it with alcohol ink that has um, a little bit of mica powder in it. You see how that mm -hmm. kind of shimmers? Uh, tap it off the excess and then dry it with the heat gun so that the mica and the dye stay where you want it. They don't just, uh, you know, roll off. And then I had found this little uh, thingy and now I'm going to find a different little thingy. I know that's <laughs> my technical term for uh, this, but I have this page that I didn't end up putting in the journal that I think will look kind of fun on here. So I'm gonna put this here. And what I did with this one is I had a little scrap of lace and I'm pretty sure I can just use, say a little scrap of this rice paper. There's so many different ways this kind of stuff can be done. So there we go. So we layer this on there and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down and then I'll do the, uh, what you call it on top and let's see if it all works i don't know that i've done this exact thing i am going to be probably putting a paper clip on the side so that if it does want to lift off it'll be held by a paper clip so but that'll hold that still for me now take the matchstick hi kathy d how are you hi tanisha Oh, you received the goodies. Oh, thank you so much for uh, sending me the ATC. So I'm going to melt this wax on here. And it took me quite a little bit this last time. I, I smoked up the whole room. But, um, you know, you got it. Ooh, I was going to burn the. That was amazing. I'm burning things. I got to be careful. You know what, though? It's going to be an awesome look. It's going to have burned edges. <laughs> bubbling. <laughs> I am dangerous. I am dangerous there. And now it's this stamp right there. And I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was wondering if you were using yeah. an actual wax stamp or if you used something else. No, it's, uh, I would find them at the bins and, uh, but garage sales and things. People always, you know, they think they're cool. They buy them and then they don't find, they use them. So you can find quite a few that way. I ordered, uh, I don't know. I think I ordered like five or six maybe five um, stamps with my wax and stuff. So I'm excited to get that. Yeah. Hi, I have <laughs> a, not ignoring uh, you, but hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an assortment of colors here. I ended up grabbing when I did it. I have blues and turquoises and some pastels. And so 
just having fun with that just because it's another uh way to bring something in that you know anyways i better get rid of these matches before i burn down the whole house so how is everybody today you caught me live oh you got things to do well it's so nice to see you though tanisha tanisha and i um know each other from hashtag um hashtag joy of blue I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong. I'm getting getting a, a larger circle of people that I'm getting to know, and it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. But I'm going to see that little tiny paper clip. That's what I'm going to put on both of those once I get the tag made and inside. Um, and these tags are um, they're free printouts from Pixabay. So that's always a good and easy way to incorporate something without uh happening to you know put out any money yeah if you don't uh, i was trying to keep lot. track of where, where i got my digitals but i lost track somewhere along the way and got them all mixed up so now i don't know where a lot of them came from <laughs> just know they're commercial free <laughs> exactly well and that's that's what i try to do when i can i will i will buy some but uh so I'm going to put these uh, signatures in, and what I've done is I've marked my hole. I've punched my holes on the spine. Kind of hard to see them. But I, I'm going to do a, a three-hole hamlet stitch. Mm -hmm. so I've already punched my holes. I've punched my holes on my paper to match, and I've clipped my pages together so they won't move until I get the thread through. So I go from. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but this is pretty normal, I think. Go through the center first. I'm using a curved needle, not because I like it, but because I don't know where my other one is. I've got all these stains. I've probably got they're probably all together in the same spot, and I can't. I yep. just need to find them. But yep. um, so I'm using this curved needle, which is a little bit harder sometimes. And I usually start on the back signature. I don't know why, but I do. Yeah. No reason to, but. Um, that's what I do. So I go from inside to outside. And I usually leave a string that's about to the edge of the paper. Like that. And then I go to the top, or you can go to the bottom, it doesn't matter. Go from the outside to the inside. And yes, it's fiddly. Trying to hold everything together while you're working. <laughs> and if you're blind, it doesn't help. So, <laughs> and if you have a curved needle, it doesn't help either. <laughs> so I'm going to flip this around so I can see what I'm doing. Curved needles are great for their their actual usage, but they're not so great doing this. Let me see if I got my other one somewhere over here. No idea where it is. So I will just continue. Normally it's a little easier because the needle just pokes straight through and then you can poke it straight through the inside. It's just hard to hold on to. I think that's what it is. Not used yeah. to something that's crooked like that. So then I go back. I'll go all the way down here. Make sure it's still long enough. Go to the go to the bottom and the inside out. So go from the inside out, the outside in, the inside out. <laughs> Ugh. Here I thought I was going to show you how easy this is. That would be too easy if it works like that. So that. That is Murphy's Law, right? Yep. Darn Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot hold on to this needle. That's my problem. <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh. There we go.
Come on, baby. Get in there. There it goes. Wow. You no, know, I do have to say that these two journals have caused me more trouble than the last 50 journals I've made. If, wow. As far as things not working just exactly right, making mistakes, um, just all of that for some reason. I don't know why. It's just been a trial. <laughs> But I still, you know, I still enjoyed working on it. Yeah. It's just been a little bit more difficult for some reason. So I made plenty of them. Now I'm going to come back from the outside in on the center hole and try not to split any threads. Come on, come on, come on. When are you going to do your flip through on the book? Um, this one, like, uh, I won't be live um, next Friday, a week from today, but before, between between then and when we get back together the following Friday, I'll have uh, put up a flip through of this. Okay. So that way it's there before we get started on our next adventure. And uh, I swear this is hard. Ladies, don't let this discourage you. <laughs> because normally by now I'd have both of these books already tied. It's just this needle is giving me a hard time. Just remember, Deb, it's good for them to see when it's tough, too, because if they only see when it's uh, easy, then they think that they're doing something completely wrong. And that may not be the case. So, right. So um, it's hard to see because of the color. But here's the threads on the outside. And they will stay. Oh. They, will, they will be visible. And uh, I'm, what I'm trying to do now is just make sure that everything is really tight. Because the way things have been going, it wouldn't surprise me a bit if I got all this done it was loose. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that everything is really tight, as tight as I can get it. And what I've used, what I always, just about always use, is a double strand of crochet cotton. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's what I always mm -hmm. use. I have never had a problem with it. And I try to make everything nice and tight. And like I said, it's fiddly, you know, even, yeah. even when it goes well, it's still fiddly. Yeah. But, um, but it's not that hard. No. So you always want to make sure that your pages are very, very secure. Nobody wants to, to get a journal or use a journal that um, the insides flop around. Okay, so there's one. Man, that was that was almost as bad as wrestling that wedding dress I was working on. <laughs> Hi, My Christina. Um, Facebook user, just give me your oh, name, Christina. and uh, then I'll know who who you are. I'm not sure why the link isn't working. That's been it's been a bit of a um, hassle for me that I try to do something and and it's all the time something's not working. So just is what it is. But uh, thank you for joining us and saying hi. Deb is sewing in her signatures and then she will uh, be doing a few things and giving you guys a flip through. I am finishing up with the camera. So there's one. It's still not. The other important thing is always make sure like five times that your pages are right side up. <laughs> yes. All of them. <laughs> Otherwise you have to take Are you there, Deb? Oh, there she is.
You had froze for a second, Deb. Oh, well. Yeah. As soon as I get these in, I'll be able to do the flip through. Oh, thank you, Chris. Chris says I'm slightly off camera, which oh, all I did was set the camera in here. I didn't try to position it per, uh, correctly or anything because I was using this same camera on the deck uh, Wednesday for the Wild Wednesday. <laughs> Brought it down here, set it down, walked away, didn't even try to see if it was going to work for what I'm doing. I'm just making little tags that I printed off of um, Pixabay to put into little areas of my, oh, I think I'm going to have to take this off because it's just making things. Okay, so I added that. Isn't that funny? It's like I... Oh, now I remember why I did it because I was going to make it a altered paper clip and then I could hold that page in with it. I'm, I'm like lost. Why, why was I making this tag? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me. You were probably thinking, oh my gosh, I hope she can get that to work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, that one went a lot faster. Awesome. I hope. I think. Strings tangled up. Thank you, Christina. I appreciate it. All righty. So, thinking about thinking, 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 trying to figure out how I'm going to make this into a altered paper clip. Might just do it simple. And that can go over the page here. Oh, I tell you, nothing's going to go right. It's just the way it's going to be today, Deb. I'm going to have to own it. It can't be. Yesterday was my everything doesn't go right day. It can't be today. Too. <laughs> too much going Today's going to be your everything goes fine. Today's going to be my everything goes wrong. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think today's going to be, oh, well, I got by that. <laughs> I got through with that. <laughs> now I managed it. <laughs> Screens are wanting to be tangled up. There we go. All right. I pulled that as tight as I can get it. Stressful, huh? Where's me at? That's a pretty good, good thickness. That is awesome. You're going to put it up on um, Instagram, Deb? Uh, if I, yeah, I probably could. It'd look great in stills. I don't know how excited I am about the cover. I mean, it's okay, but I'm not sure how excited I am about it. And I'm wondering if I need to put some gold on the, touch some gold along the edges or something. It looks a little dull. Hmm. There we go. 
That looks Chris, like it should. Yeah, that looks awesome. So, Chris, I did this uh, glazzling bag and I melted wax. And I have a tag in there, and then I put it on a trifold that folds over the page. It can be taken off, written in, done, whatever, and then it's held on with an altered paper clip. And I'm keeping my altered paper clips and everything that I can as flat as possible because it's getting too fat. It's getting fat. I don't want it to be fat. But if I took this dangle out and put it on the outside, it would be better. I think that might be what I end up having to do. But. I have this um, envelope that was made and sent to me in Happy Mail that I think I'm going to put in here along a page. I'm thinking about hanging some gears off of some of these strings. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I got some little ones over here. Now, Melody, you didn't yep. see the mistake I made. I made a mistake on this cover, too. Not only on the other cover, but on this one also. Oh. <laughs> you poor thing. I know. It was just really strange. Sometimes we are put to our challenges in odd ways, huh? <laughs> But, you know, came out all right in the end, so. Well, and that's what I think is really important for you to share um, with everybody is that this is not something that even if you are um, been doing it for a while, you know, you're skilled at it and you've had mistakes that have happened to where you've learned lots of things, you still will have things that go wrong and you don't give up. Do you know how many times I've heard newbies in my group talk about, oh, I throw that, I threw that one away. It just wasn't going right. Never throw it away. There's I had always one that, I, had yeah. one that I was making that um, the cover, I mean, I like the cover. I don't remember now what was wrong. Something was wrong with the journal. I don't know if I didn't like the way the insides were going or if it was the cover. I can't remember. But what anyway, I ended up cutting out the insides and um, saving the cover and just putting it away. And I came across it the other day and I thought, oh, I'm, I can still use this. So Exactly. I mean, you could always paint over stuff. <laughs> That's right. That's what I like about paint. <laughs> paint is the best. Dress over it, throw a whole nother uh, uh, image on top. You don't even know. The rest of it was there. Sometimes it'll add texture, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. <laughs> it could be your background texture. So I'm covering up this page because unlike Deb, I didn't make sure that all my pages weren't upside down and I had an upside down page. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And it I, happens. <laughs> I, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to do what I know how to do to fix it, which is uh, cover it up with a journaling area or a decorative uh, focal point. But leave it as a background and you won't even notice that it's upside down anymore. I did one a page upside down once and one that um, I didn't even realize it till I saw it being sold online. And uh, I thought, oh my gosh, I put that upside down. <laughs> Someone bought it, you know, I mean, <laughs> I didn't even realize it. And I go through them several times after I'm done to make sure that I've got everything, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you just don't see it. Thank you, Tanisha. Thank you for stopping by if you're heading out. I will see you on the 12th, young lady, because I am going to be uh, out of town, but I have my video already uh, scheduled to go up. And so I'll see you the 12th at 9 a.m. my time. Tanisha, we all put up our um, Joy of Blue uh, videos on the 12th of each month at 9 a.m. Pacific. Yeah, I saw that you had it scheduled. Yeah, so, and then I I particularly, and most of us do, go to each other's channel and watch it and comment and like it because it's just good to support each other, especially um, 
when it's kind of especially fun for us, I think, because all of us are doing such different things. Like it's not all junk journal makers or it's not all bead makers. Right. We are all either doing something different or even have, oh, my Instagram name, uh, Christina is um, Melody Made and Deb's is, um, Deb, what is it? Cause I, I found it. <laughs> It's it's stupid, is what it is. <laughs> it's not stupid. It's just I had, complicated. I had this big idea. Mine is. Let me. I have to look it up myself because I can never remember it. Mine is. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Mine is. Uh, D. Dot Feral. Dot New. Dot Endeavors. Now is that ridiculous? It's not ridiculous, but I will tell you, it is hard to find people when their names aren't yes. the same as them, things. So it's D, D dot feral dot new dot endeavors. I'm gonna remember I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do D dot feral. Uh huh. Feral dot new dot new dot endeavors. In endeavors, and I will put it in the chat so that if anyone wants to check it out, they will have an easy time. So Thank I you, Chris. Go ahead. I put these um, gears, I just tied them onto these strings. I'm just gonna use some fray check to kind of help it. I could use glue. Well, I might have to use glue, but that must be empty. Yep, empty as can be. So I'll use some glue, just dot some glue on there and that'll keep it from coming untied. Maybe I'll put a tiny pocket. I'm noticing here when I put her inside of here that I can't really see her the way I want to. Yeah, so I like you. I like to see them, you know, see yeah, so I, it if it's something interesting. Exactly. I think I'm going to put a little um, tuck, a little just tuck, like maybe I'll darken this train and then I can set her inside the train and then. Oh, cute. Things, yeah, I think I'll do that. Now I got, um, I don't know, if, um, Tsunami Rose, you know her. Huh? Right. I don't know her, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Well, I think I like to think I know everybody. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> I yeah, I, I'm funny though, because I'll be talking to someone like that. I think they should know me too. That's how bad I am. I, I'm like, the internet isn't that big, right? I know you, you know me. We're all doing the same thing. No, it's huge. <laughs> and nobody knows me. So that's okay. I can live with it. But um, so I I had she was having a sale and I don't usually buy things because I can make a lot of things myself and like you I will go find free stuff right but sometimes I like to support the smaller businesses and and my peers and so she was having a sale because um, her prices are a little more spendy than I usually like to spend and that is not a reflection of that she's not worth it it's a reflection that I am cheap and uh, but so I bought uh, these die cut print out die cut things that she does. And I have them in the book that Gail Agostinelli uh, gave me. I won it uh, when I went to Colorado for traveling the farthest to see her. And so, but I have them organized in that. And this train and a couple other things were in there. And so I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm going to get to use it because I've had it for like, yeah, I like that train. over a year. So I'm going to put her in front of oh, or behind that. I thought it was already in here. I didn't poke the holes. Tanisha says she's looking forward to seeing the projects this oh seeing my project this month for Joya Blue. I still have to do mine. Oh, I'm looking forward to yours too, sweetie. I don't know. Because are you gonna do um are you gonna do jelly plating? I'm only showing I think one or two images of jelly plating. I'm going a different direction this time. I've even I'll I'll share with you guys because you guys are my secret pals, but I'm showing my nails as one of my things. <laughs> I didn't paint them, but I told her what to do. <laughs> so that'll, that'll be fun. All right, so there's tags. 
I'm awesome. thinking wherever my black thread is, that's probably where my needle is. Somewhere. They ran off together. Oh, they're off having babies. Something. Yeah. Hey, maybe they'll come up with pre-threaded needles. <laughs> that oh, won't that be a wonderful union? <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna dream, we might as well dream big, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that page you just flipped over with the big gears on it. Isn't that fabulous? That's out of a paper pack. Oh, and and I'll probably never find it again. I think I got it a hundred years ago. You know how it is. There's some of the stuff we find so old. Let's see, right side up. Right side up. <laughs> yeah, I did a bunch of stuff. Um, what day was that? Uh, Whatever day I was on, Wednesday? No, this is Wednesday. No, what is the day? No, this is Friday. Friday. I think it was Tuesday because I don't. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. We did a bunch of stuff in these journals that day. To get them ready. I hadn't been down here doing anything like that. I've been either. Uh, I mostly was getting videos ready for the week because, like I said, I had to do. I had to get the Joy of Blue ready for the twelfth. I had to. Um, I had a swap and glue that came in that I, I wanted to get ready. And so it comes out on Monday. I have a background collage I'm excited about that um, will come out on Monday. I don't know what day. And just, you know, just stuff, doodads, and I don't even remember all of it. But Sorry, I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. But it's awkward. Okay, so stuffed envelope and I haven't figured out the closure on this and I still don't know exactly what I want to do. I think I'm going to not put a closure on the gentleman's book. Oh, yeah? I think I'm not going to. I'm not totally decided yet. Okay, here we go again. The problem is because this needle is curved, I can't push it straight through. Right. So it doesn't want to hit the holes right. Uh -oh. Sometimes you just have to stop and take a breath. Oh, yeah. Well, you know me. I don't breathe uh, for several minutes at a time unless I make <laughs> myself stop and do it. It's like, Melody, stop and breathe for a minute. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, goodness. I'll tell you. I'm learning, though, because I got, I got like, you're in my head. And uh, this lady, Carol Moss, I watch. She's uh, in the UK. And, oh, my goodness, her voice is so so amazing and i just love to listen to her but she's she's uh glue books and she's well she does a lot of things but just um glue books is what i'm i caught on for to her for but um she talks about she'll be you know chastising herself she's like carol don't overthink it i'm like oh my gosh she's exactly what i'm saying in my head too <laughs> I, thought, I thought i was the only one oh sometimes Tanisha says my plan 
was to do jelly plating, but I'm not totally committed to it yet. I may end up doing something else. Depends on what I'm feeling when I get started. There you go, Tanisha. That's the way to do it. The fact that we can do this um, just once a month and just do whatever we want is so liberating. I love it. Go ahead, Deb. Sorry. Oh, I already forgot. I no, sorry. Know. That's okay. No problem. Probably wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, I really do like how my page edges have come out. I mean, I know they're not lightly inked, but I think for these journals, I really like it. Well, that's the thing is it's just, it's it's um, another style, another technique that um, I was really excited you did it during this session or during this uh, thing we were doing because it was such a great innovative idea. Well, I'll definitely use that again somewhere. Maybe even with uh, different colors. Okay, let me show. See, Tanisha? I did uh, matte blue here. Uh, this is a very chunky glitter. And then two nails with little daisies and then I'm going to focus because that's the way my day is rolling but that's okay <laughs> it's just going to roll that way and I'm going to smile through it no matter what happens I don't know what was wrong with your camera or whatever oh. the other day but I when I went to look at the um, jelly plate yeah one, it was that way too yeah and I don't it must have been because that was the same day two yeah. different cameras and uh, in two different places in my house that's so weird. it was really weird because I, I don't even know, like, what could I do to fix it? You know, if it's one yeah. camera or because at first I thought, you know, because here's here's what I did. And that's what I was kind of feeling like it happened is, is that I didn't turn on my big lights. I just had my above light on. And I thought, oh, well, maybe the camera couldn't really focus. And it just was really, you know, and I ended up deleting it. And it was just like, yeah. Oh, oh Tanisha yeah. says she has to go. But it was great seeing you ladies create live. Have a great day. You too, Tanisha. Bye, See you too. Too. But um, but yeah, I I just sat there and went, oh, you know, it, luckily it wasn't a big deal, you know, a big the kind of thing that I was I'd be stressed about if, if it didn't work out but it still yeah, was yeah. a bummer because I was really excited about the whole project and but I shared pictures on Instagram that's what I've been doing I've been getting so much better about Instagram and it's working out for me right now I'm I'm getting a lot of good feedback one of my reels ended up getting a thousand views wow and 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 it's like it notifies me and I'm going, what do you mean it got 500 views? And then the next thing I know, a couple hours later, you got your your reel got one. I'm like, what? I don't I get eight views and three likes. And, you know, <laughs> my friends say it looks good because that's what friends do. But what? That was cool. You know, my my granddaughter has a uh, uh, Instagram for her cats. And they have. Uh, like, oh, that's right. You've told me that. And, and and the other day she said, Grammy, they've got like, I don't know, eight, 700 or something like that. Um, people on there, you know. Yeah. That like it. And then she was looking at it again, just like an hour later. She says, Grammy, there's 900 on here now. <laughs> <laughs> and my dog has more than I do. Oh, my gosh. Do you do you update that very often? Nope, she does it. Oh, she, she does it. Oh. Care of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh. telling you, I tried to get my niece to do, or I actually started out, I was paying my daughter, the younger one, to do my social media for me. I'm like mad. I don't want to do this, this whole Instagram, this whole, uh, you know, I don't remember what all the stuff was, but uh, I just don't, I don't want to do it. I, I want, I got into this to create, not do social media. And uh, so I was paying her to do it. Well, of course, with anybody who's young and, and uh, flighty, it, it didn't last very long. She got paid right. a little bit and then she moved on her way and, and you know, greener pastures. But so I just kept thinking, gosh, who can I get to do this? And then I kind of talk and hint around, but but nobody's uh, sitting around <laughs> wanting to do it for me. So, ah. 
maybe I got two more grandchildren that are going to be coming up the line a little bit older. They might would get to where they <laughs> want to do it. But the 15 year old is like, nah, she's busy. She takes care of it, but she's a busy girl. So, you know, but she's, still I think it's awesome to have something that they do regularly. That's commitment. That's a big deal. And especially yeah. since she's not, I mean, she's not technically getting a paycheck, right? No. Uh -uh. Well, right, so the reason she started, uh, she started uh, Bella's is because on her, on her cat one, she is a affiliate with Chewy.com. Right. So, right. And, you know, so she can make money doing that. And that was right. the goal was to make money for her pickleball trips and stuff. Right. So, um, but she signed right after she started Bella's, she um, tried to sign her up for Chewy and they, they didn't accept her, but she hardly had any views or anything and she had just started it. So I, mm -hmm. she's going to try it again. I think they'll probably do it. And then she can make money off that one too, you know? Yeah. That's the reason for those. Okay. Okay. Signatures are all in. Yay. Big applause, yay. I think I'm gonna put some, oh, I forgot. I had some special stuff to put on her book and I didn't use it. Where is it? Ugh. I hate it when washi won't oh, tear yeah. the way it's supposed to. Some washies are more plasticky. I like the torn edge, but. You know, I don't have very much washi tape and I ordered some the other day. So I'm waiting for that to come. So I'm waiting for my washi tape to come and my wax stain to come, wax stamp to come. Now I gotta figure out where I put the stuff. Ooh, I think it's in here. Yep, yep. yep. I wanted to put the watch. Well, I'll talk about that later. I'll finish this real quick, and then I'll get started with my flip throughs. Forgot about these roses. Yeah, I can't forget about the roses. I love these. Mm -hmm. so oh cute. boy, that's beautiful. Bella sitting up top of the steps looking at me, talking to me. <laughs> My Scotties would do that kind of thing. The ones we have now are a little more loud, vocal. If they talk, they talk pretty loud, but my Scotties would do a, a deep rumbly kind of communication. It was cool. I miss we miss them so much. So many times we we think about them. So you remember how I did that center thing um in the you, you had said you thought it was kind of cool that uh this envelope where to go? Where's the center? Where are you? I may not have the center. Did I lie? <laughs> oh here. Uh-huh. So this had a the flap out from something else and I took and I put this this image on one side and then this pocket on the other. So it flips back oh, and yeah. forth from oh, the center nice. like that so that it's not attached that to the page. The other, the other part of the envelope or something else? No, it's the other part of um, this pocket here that oh. also kind of floats. Just It's just weird stuff. It's nothing, you know, I, I don't know. It's... I'm weird. I like to, I like to, you know, just push the boundaries of what makes sense, I guess. But it, if it kind of looks, you know, unusual, I, I really feel like there's so much potential 
been junk journaling and that's why it's kept my attention for so long because I would have gotten bored by now if it was just the fact of making journals and, and that's it. There wasn't something innovative, you know, that could be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have gotten bored. I'm going to put that paper clip there because I think that's moving around a bit. But I think I may be close to done. I've got, I got to leave some journaling. But I was just wanting to add some more little flippy flaps and thingy to, to bobbers and stuff like that. I think yours has more interesting other stuff in it than mine. Uh, I think yours, the cover is very, um, the a lot of the artistic, like especially that metal piece on that one, that is just fabulous. And I really got to figure out um, working with some types of things like that. My problem is, is I guess I could put it on with um, with eyelets, right? I don't know how you put yours on, but I, you I can't. Just, uh, I just poked holes and put it on with brads. Brads, Ooh, that's brads. right. That's right. I remember you saying that. I did use a glue too. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm gonna put a tab on the top of this. I don't even know my staplers down here. I think it is. I think I want to do a glue book um, thing today and upload it to come out on Sunday for my mom and do a glue, a glue book page that just kind of, because I've got that hashtag challenge out about MM uh, word challenge. And I was thinking I could do words that would be meaningful to, you know, how I feel about my mom. And I don't know, it just kind of sounded fun, bound up on up of time. That's going to be my biggest. I have this one sticker that I bought at an next. You better get ready to go. I know, right? Am I terrible or what? It's like I keep putting something new on my list. Why don't I want to pack? I don't know. Where are y'all going? Uh, we we live here in Oregon, and there is a town called Oakland, and uh, it's nothing fantastic, but it has. We got an Airbnb house to ourselves that we can have the dogs, and it has um, a, a river and nature trails near it. And so we're just really excited to to mostly be away from the house and yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah, it will. We we just with the family issues and the COVID and my parents were gone up until a couple of weeks ago. Just so many things we just we just kind of I don't know, need to reconnect and feel hopeful again about some things. I don't know. But it'll all it'll all work out. I, I do believe that one way or another. So I think I'm gonna do another altered paper clip here, but I don't want to do the one the kind I was doing, so I'm gonna think of something different, which is gonna be difficult. I did that and then covered this. Sometimes I'm dyslexic and I look at it backwards and it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, if that makes sense, cover that up. No, Melody, you did the exact opposite of what you were supposed to do to make this work. What are you doing? <laughs> this, is the, this, is, this is the back of... Uh, back page of one of the paper packs and I've been just tearing this up and using the bits of this. It's like cardstock texture and it's just been yep. working out so well but it was just one of the back pages. Of That's the, one of my favorite um, designs. The I call it Harlequin. Yeah. What the real name is. But. Yeah I have a couple of uh, stencils and I'm not sure about stamps but I know I have the stencils that I've I've really enjoyed working with i put it in some of the things i'm doing as background noise but uh, okay let's see if let's see let's see let's see i could have done this too well i like these so much i'm gonna put another one in there 
They just lend themselves to it. Oh, she's so pretty. I did her on the cover. I had her in the large version. Yeah. And I did her on the cover of a, a journal I did. I don't know if it was a year or two ago, but I ended up giving it away as the prize in one of my um, uh, promotion celebrations in my group. And the lady was just amazed, you know, that I would give away something like that. But I don't know. I, for a long time, I just wasn't making to sell. I was just making because I, I wanted to do the videos and I wanted to interact, but I just wasn't necessarily wanting to sell. Yeah. But most of the time I sell things just to get them out of the way. <laughs> exactly. Although here lately, I've been making more things just specifically to sell. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly to get to get the supplies out of the way. <laughs> I've been going through crochet thread like crazy. Even lace and flowers and all that kind of stuff to sell. Hi, Cindy Pratt. Thank you so much. Cindy says it's looking good. Thank they are, you. and they're getting to where they're almost so done. Close, so close to being done. Yeah. And taste it. And then we will. Oh, maybe that's glue. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's tasting there something. <laughs> All righty then. Where's my lid? I left the lid off of my glitter glue all night. And I guess it had enough goobers on the top that it closed itself up and didn't clog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, now let me see. I'm going to do a flip through. I'm also going to try to look at things as I go through to make sure it's all done. Mm -hmm. so I didn't miss anything, which, you know, is very possible. Make some room. I know one thing that I still haven't done, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. What's that? Um, well, it's more than one thing, but so here are the two journals. Let's see. Oh, wow. Don't they look beautiful? And here are the backs. With strings. <laughs> and fuzz. This one's pretty plain on the back. Okay. So I'm going to start with the lady. <clears throat> this one is made from a classification folder that I've altered. And, um, there were a couple of mistakes along the way, but they came out pretty well. It caused me to have to change the binding here on this end. And um, I do have a couple more things I need to do on this cover. I need to put something inside the watch. Watch is in this little pocket. Awesome. Got little charms on it, little teapot, gears, and a heart, and a key. So um, I will be putting. I think what I'm going to put in there is a clock face and maybe some beads that roll around inside because there's room for that. Mm -hmm. So it goes in a little pocket. Here's a little bug. This is a an old brooch that was white. And I dyed it with some alcohol inks so that it would be pink, closer something closer to red. Mm -hmm. The cover is all uh, canvas that's painted. 
um, the little bottles up here, whoops, are to look like little fake bottles of ink. Oh, isn't that awesome? And they just fit down in the, this is all stitched on and then painted. And the other thing I have, what I have to do is, is finish the inside of the watch, um, replace this um, pin holder with a different pin holder once I get it. And then I'm going to put, these are actually um, charms. So once I get the, I'm going to put some real pin points in there. Oh. And then it is, um, the closure is a piece of sari silk that comes through the eyelets and then ties these two together. Wow. Now it is, if you look at the top, it is a little fat. Yeah. Normally I wouldn't have it that fat. You know, this would all be straight, but I think it's okay. I know. I do too. So there's that. Then it opens up with the tie. Um, this is the bound where it's bound on both sides. So then it opens up. See if I can get this to fit. I might have to go out a little bit because it's too small for the picture. Let me see. That's as far back as I could go. We can see the one side very well. I just have to keep it right here. Okay. So, so these um, pieces, you know, they're just sort of protected. They flap open. And to look at the first side, it's straightforward like this. So we're going to go through this one first. This is my lady. The lady. Oh, so pretty. And I'm just going to slowly flip through here. I like to leave plenty of space for uh, journaling, but also have a lot of things to look at. Right. And some of these tags I've collaged, made my made up myself. Some of them, like this one, um, was um, scrapbook paper that had some really nice designs on it that I decided to go ahead and use like this. Little oh, piece wow. of letters in here. And some of the um, stencil I did with the airbrush. This is a beautiful piece of dyed paper that I got from someone else. Melody, you know who I got this from? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Sarah yes. Sarita Sales. Sarah yes, Sarita Sales. You're right. That's who it is. Yep, and she's going to be fabulous. coming. She's going to be coming back uh, to sell online, uh, I think, by uh, July. Oh, okay. It's not well, before. it's beautiful. I know that. It's gorgeous. And then this is uh, just a line paper that's been made into a pocket. Here's a little um, ticket booklet. Some paper that's right. That's a die, die cut, right? That you were. Yeah, this is, no, uh, this is a um, embossing folder. Oh, okay, that's right. So it's just stuck in this little pocket. Here's a, a die cut. This is actually a die cut. Another nice page. Ah, here's one other thing I need to do. I need to put some, I need to make something to go on this right here. So I'm going to leave that there because I'll forget otherwise. Here's some more great paper with the little whale tail tags on tabs on it. This is a um, die cut. It's on here. That's beautiful. This page, I didn't like the bottom of the page because it looked evil to me or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I cut it off and just left it like this. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> because I thought it was pretty with the roses showing behind it. So <laughs> I didn't like the bottom part of it. Here I had a, a clock that when it printed out, it was just on the edge of the paper. So I just cut it out and put it in the crack. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Some more stenciling. 
really like this paper. I this might have come from her too in the packet. It might have. I'm not sure. I have a packet of it in blue that I'm going to be using for the Joy of Blue uh, oh. come summer. Oh, I'm so excited. It has blues and grays. And I'll, I'll, I might throw a couple pieces in the boho, but we'll see. Oh. And here's just like a corner tuck with some stenciling. Here's the tag. Another page edgy. I love making those. Yes, that was fun. That was one of the first videos we did, wasn't it? That you did that in the well, the first you know, I started I had a I had a little bit of small print stuff. I hadn't really planned on making a um, a journal, but I was making some tags. It was kind of like in the back of my mind, but I hadn't planned it yet. But I was mm -hmm. making some tags because I was going through stuff trying to make tags that needed to be you know, that I had set aside to make. Mm -hmm. and, uh, when you saw that, I think you got excited. And thought, oh, I, I remember thinking I would love to sit and talk to you, not just text. So uh, that's when I thought, gosh, if her and I worked live together, we could communicate through that and it would be cool. <laughs> this is a really pretty flower. That's, I like that. I wanted her to mo mostly to have, I like roses. I have a lot of roses and find a lot of roses. Um, so I wanted her to have roses and um, uh, still be kind of steampunk, you know. Mm -hmm. So I tried using um, things that were a little bit more feminine with her, like roses and writing and um, what have you, you know. Just right. To, well, and it was nice because you had the male one that you could go the other direction with. Exactly. With and that's design. why I decided to do that because, uh, well, that and the fact that I had a lot of stuff to use and I wanted to use it all. <laughs> exactly. That way I don't have to pick and choose too much. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I can do it all. Another <laughs> little tag. Now this one's collaged. That's it's got a metal that gear just happened to fit just right on that punch I stuck it on there <laughs> and there were some little um, antique looking black and white clips that I cut out and used in here too like the perfume bottles Oh, wow. That one turned out nice. Yeah. And here nice. again, this was a piece that was on the edge of a page. Yeah. I couldn't, you know, like I couldn't tear it on that edge and I couldn't, whatever. So I just used it as it was and went with it. That's great. The back of that. Okay, there's that side. And let's flip over to this one real quick. Now, this one opens this way. And it's very similar, you know, similar type thing. With the uh, different tags and stuff. And it got a little tag on it. I like using these tabs on the sides of my tags too. I use those a lot. Yeah, that looks good. It's a nice finishing detail. Sometimes they just look like they need something. Here's some of Melody's. Um, Jelly plate paper. Oh, that's so cool. Looks great in there. Here's another big tag. So I took a tag that was already made, printed out, you know, I printed it out, and then I added to it so that it would go with with her. Because it really was more masculine with this moon face and the hat and the little guy on the bicycle, but by layering some other things over it, it kind of changed it to where yeah. I could use it for her. And I used more um, balloons in hers too, I think. Well, I don't know. I might use a lot in hers too. Okay. 
This is just a little little booklet. Oh, that's really cute. cute. Layers of things in it. That's kind of cute. I like that. And this is an envelope. Oh, and that's right. I remember. I remember you when you were making those. Making those. Yeah. Yep. His is very similar. Hers has a rose on it, and his has, I think, in a uh, hot air balloon. Put a little um, key in that one. And there's that dreaded butterfly. <laughs> so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one, part two. <laughs> This is so cool. This is like memory lane. <laughs> this is just a little. Oh, turn around here. Little binoculars in there. This is a um, what do you call this? A pull out maybe? I don't know what you call it. And it expands out like this. Wow. Try fold flip out maybe. Yeah. There's, there's back probably side, back say it. Plain. Back side's plain so it could be written on. So that whole piece there could be written on on the back. And there's some more airbrush um, stenciling. The roses are so beautiful in there. This was a um, black and white clip. This is a piece cut out from this paper. And this is a ribbon that I stuck on there. <laughs> oh, wow. Because I, I wanted to make it look more feminine, you know. And if yeah. you know her, she has a a black hat with a red ribbon on it and a little doohickey on the front. Doesn't look like that, but I thought, oh, I'll just make it look like she needs it. <laughs> and these are, these are, this is just a little tag stuck in here and an envelope with the, one of those metallic bugs on it. Oh, that's right. So you did get one in there, huh? Did you get yeah, a few? Yeah, I, I used them all up. You know, I used them all up. Oh, that was a fun day watching you paint those. And you know what? Um, the other day I was looking at some art supplies online and they have that same brand of paint in pastels and pearls. Wow. Pastels and pearls. So. There's another bug. <laughs> what are you saying? I got, him in, I got him in here. <laughs> I have this stamp right here. It says posted from my old job. I got oh, yeah. Tired of writing it. I got tired of writing it, so I ordered a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's a typewriter in this typewriter page. I like that page. Turn it up. more roses and that's the end so then i also put these you saw me doing this i put these little dangles at the bottom mm -hmm. there's a cup and a rose and a key and this all goes back in and ties on the side again Ta -da! oh you know what else i haven't done i didn't put a nameplate in yet i haven't signed it yet oh. so there's still a couple little things I have to do later for it. I always put a nameplate and I always sign it. I do the this journal belongs to tag in the front usually. And then um, I, I don't know that I've signed them. Uh, I might have in the past if it was a swap or something. I don't know. But I don't think I do it regularly. I might have to think about that. You should. You should always sign it. Yeah. But someday you may be famous, you know. 
<laughs> my who knows for something besides making a mess huh so that one is pretty close to being done i just have those couple little i gotta wait till i can get out and get what i need for this but um oh i kind of like the way that looks i don't know if you can see it or not hanging down here no i think that's that is awesome it's done almost wish i could say it's done but not quite almost all it's, right, ma'am. Do you want to talk for a while or do you want me to show the other one? No, you go ahead. Okay. All righty. So here's the gentleman. Wow, I really like that color combination you have there. And he's got his little, can't see him. He's got his little, uh, which way am I going here? His little dangles hanging down. And, um, like, like I showed before, this is a, a, a aluminum can that um, the holes are punched. It goes through the cover. And then some other things have been added on here. They're also put on with brads. And just something cute, little keys and a metal stencil, a bug. And, that's, and this cover is um, also attached with brads. It's a two inch spine painted. This is all paint. Okay? Yeah, that's just my spot again here. And on the inside, I uh, lined it with a matte paper that I had. So. And normally my books, when they open, they will fold all the way back. And this one was meant to do that, but I made a mistake in measuring again. I don't know what was going on in my brain. So I had to cut it apart, refigure how to attach it. And that's why it's attached like it is. So it doesn't, um, it still lays flat, yeah. but I can't bend this back. So I'm gonna hold this up so you can see a little better. Okay. My gentleman, isn't he so cute? Got little glasses on his hat. And I've also, um, like I said, used balloons in here too. On that page, here's his, he also has a little fold out. Yeah, my hands are full right now. You can't come up here right now. We have to wait. Some more of Melody's jelly plate. A little bit of stamping over here. Here's some Tim Holtz. Oh, I like that. Tim Holtz playing. And here I took one of the ends of the um, the tickets, like I had in the other book, and put on there. Mm -hmm. These are tabs that I make, and he's got a little bit of um metal on his too a little bit of few gears some more melodies <laughs> plate pages well you I had bought a kit from me right you had bought a yeah I did. Kit. I did and yeah. so and you've added a lot of your own uh stash but but the kit was kind of the inspiration at first which i think is uh wonderful about kits you know it's, it just gives you a, a kickstart Melody, is this yours? Uh, kind of like on a piece of ledger or something? Yes. Yes. Ledger. Okay. Yes. Here's the schematic. Looks pretty cool in there. And here's a camera, some tabs, or labels, I mean. And here's a uh, airplane stamped onto this paper. Wow. Some more Melody's paper, and it's been embossed with um, uh, gears. Here's another one of those big tags. That's a cool one. <laughs> this is a CD um, envelope. Oh, I I got in, yeah, that I got in a packet 
that was already um, stained, already coffee stained or whatever it is. I added a little bit more to it, but mostly it's the way it looked when I got it. And then here's another big tag. The luggage and the elephant show up in the in the pocket. And that I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Edgies, melody paper, a bicycle in here. And here's two two pockets. It actually on this little tag right here, tab right here, it says rocket. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> like it on there. So. And then a little <laughs> miniature uh, card. You know, they had those little cards, playing cards. Yeah. And then here's another one. I like this guy. He's not he's not real fancy, but I like him. I do too. Very distinguished looking. He makes a nice tag. So more embossed paper. And this one here on this page, there's a train uh, stamped on there. I like that a lot. That is beautiful. I haven't counted the pages in these yet. Instead of leaving these pages blank, there's plenty of room on here to journal, but I like to put some little something on them that is interesting. Yeah. And then there's a tag right here in this. Page. I like this one too. That one. I love the checkerboard along with the. I love uh, checkerboard. Yep. Yeah. And then the Harlequin. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just all just so graphic. Yep. I yeah. really like it. And then the second signature starts out with the belly band. And here's a, another light bulb and a telephone. And this is all the cut the um, die cuts that I painted. Oh, that's right. That was a fabulous video. The ladies, if anyone's watching this flip through and you're curious about, you know, how she did a lot of that, most of it was done on camera. And this is a scrapbook page that I just cut out, fussy cut around the pieces so they would stand out. And here's another big tag. And another big tag. And here's another bug. I put him inside a. Uh, I'll show you. Inside one of these. It's like a. I don't know, just a tag. I don't know what kind of call it. You buy them and they have the metal ring around it. I punched mm -hmm. out the paper and put um, plastic in there with a bug in between and then glued two of the rings together and colored it with um, alcohol ink. So there's my bug. There's a cute little page with hats. Oh. There's a big pocket. I like this tag. I really originally had this one in hers, and it has quite a bit of lace on it, but I think it looks fine. And in the man's, he can have lace too. I agree. I to get too uppity. <laughs> and there's just some edgies. And there's another, another. I like to make tags, I guess you could tell. <laughs> Ephemera making is a hobby of its own, isn't it? I love it. Yeah. More Melody's paper.
Uh -oh. This is a little booklet. It's a teeny tiny clasp. That's cute. And here is a um, charm. It's kind of a big charm of a bicycle. And oh, I came across wow. this bicycle. So I thought, okay, that's got to go there. <laughs> got to go with that. And it's just dangled on there with the well pin. And here's his um, envelope. First had a typewriter. His has, they both had the ink. Hers had a typewriter, his has a camera and a balloon, and hers had a typewriter and roses. Oh. They're very similar, though. Your Bella over there, she's, she's playing with a mailing tube on the floor. Oh, that's cute. And here's another tag. This is all collaged. Beautiful. That one turned out nice. Here's another Tim Holtz people tag. I make a lot of these. I have them. I haven't busted them out and used them much as much as I should. I just got the new one that has the groups of people. Oh yeah. I was gonna get it online, but it was so expensive, and I just found it the other day when I was at. I mean at um, Joanne's. Oh yeah. Right, and it was cheaper. So I thought, okay, I'm getting it. <laughs> there you go. Here's another little tag. Awesome. I love the way. Now, is that, are those on cardstock and then backed with a different paper for writing on? This is a piece of cardstock, of cardstock scrapbook, you know, scrapbook stock. That's, right. It's not the thin stuff. And then everything else, not that. This, well, this and this and this and this and this, I added. Everything else was already there. And, and then, it's but the Tim Holtz. Uh, it's a Tim Holtz um, paper pack. Oh, so it's double sided. Cut up. Huh? So it's double sided. Yes. Okay, that's what I was wondering: is if the if the back decoration, if you were layering more on there, or if it had it to begin with. No, in, in this case, usually I do both sides myself, but mm -hmm. in this case, um, it was double sided, so I didn't have to. If it's as long as it's heavy enough, you know. I don't like my tags to be real flimsy. I right. want to be able to stick it in there and not have it crunch up. Exactly. No, I agree with you. And this is just a little piece of filigree, metal filigree that I glued on there. I really like this, uh, this edgy here. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think I found some really nice um, digitals to play with. Yeah. And this was another one of those black and white graphic things that I cut out. I cut them set. They came separately, and I just glued them together so they look like a face. I, I like remember it. that. <laughs> I think it's goofy, but I like it. <laughs> Lots and of this, character. And then this page has two tags. Actually, I'm wondering. I wonder if. No, nope, that was in the girls. Okay, sorry. Got sidetracked. So here's one. He's uh, got his little gears and all these other little things layered on, layered on there. Wow. This card was actually an advertisement, like you get in the mail. You know, you get those thick um, oh, yeah. card-like things. And, um, but you could see the words too much. I couldn't recover the words. I had covered it with a tissue paper and it has clocks on it, which you probably 
can't see very well, but it does have, there's one of them. But I could still see the words to it. So I went back and took some gesso and or paint and just kind of smeared it over it so you couldn't see the words. It turned out pretty nice. Oh, and then this, this was another piece of scrapbook paper. The only thing I added was this. Oh, no, I added, oh, I, okay, I added that and that and that. And then I added this on the back. But I think collaging is an acquired um, habit that you have to do a little while. Like sometimes people think, oh, that looks easy. And it can be for some, but for others, it's if like we talk about a lot. If you overthink it, you're going to struggle. So. Yeah, I like doing it. Yeah. Sometimes they don't turn out that great, but and then this was a uh, another collage. I used all these balloon stamp looking things, and then I added two tabs on the side of this one. I like the black, the way the black balances it all out. I know we've talked about that. You love your black. Pop a black. Then, then I had something on back of here, paint or something that got smeared on it. So I just put covered it, <laughs> covered it up with that. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really liking, see, my, this is my new slot cutter I used on here. Uh -huh. I really, I really like it. I, I do really like too. using it on the tabs. Uh, so I could like put it here. Well, you can do it with any kind of punch, you know, but mm -hmm. um, I think the slot one would look neat on here with something tied through it, you know, that kind of thing. And that's the end. Oh, wow. Well, I've got this and I'm thinking about it. I'm just going to sign it. So the only thing he needs is a book plate or a label. And I could do that now, too, while I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So there you go. There are my two. Awesome. It was so wonderful working on these with you, Deb. I truly appreciate all of the, your time and uh, talent. We all have learned something new, most definitely. So new things. I've learned how to yeah. do payment. <laughs> yeah. We both have been learning that, haven't we? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's been a... It's been up to me down the time. I don't know why it was so much like that, but sometimes that's the way it is. That's that's true. And it's going to be that way for other crafters too. And especially if they're new, they need to understand that to give themselves uh, uh, space to grow and make mistakes and don't criticize yourself any more than you would anyone else. Yep. So that's always important because I, I know that most people will criticize themselves even more than they would someone else. And that's not nice. So what I'm doing is I am um, pretty much finished with this. I'm going to create a closure, which I'll probably just find a piece of fabric to uh, roll around it and tie it off. Um, then what I'm going to do is Friday, I'm going to be having a upload of the clip through of the purse journal. And then the following week, I'll do a flip through of this one. But and that is the following Friday that the upload will be going on is the 14th. And then the 21st, Deb and I will be back live with two new projects. And I'm not going to commit either one of us today, but we will announce it and you will be very excited. Um, the contrast. I'll be, very I'll be very excited to know what it is. I know, huh? Yeah. Well, like, like we, we're going to be really excited to be able to know what we're going to tell you that we're doing, but it'll be colorful. I can tell you that in comparison to what we're working with this last seven weeks, because we want to shake it up a bit, but, uh, try to hit everybody's style. Steampunk is so fun, but it's not for everybody. Just like other things aren't for everybody. So, um, but it is spring outside and I know I'm craving color. That's what I'm craving. And so. I'm excited. I'm at, I am too. Of course, I'm always excited to start something new, you know. I know, huh? <laughs> because you always learn new things. Yes. Yes. All righty, Deb. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you, um, I guess, two weeks from today is what uh, how, I, how I word it. But I will see you on the 21st. And we will be back at the same bat channel, same bat time. 
uh, just with new projects and we'll be excited to see you guys and we hope you'll be excited to see us. That's right. That's right. Exactly what she said. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye, Deb. <laughs>